Welcome, everyone, to another edition of the First Family of Las Vegas' Daily Free Winner Show, brought to you by the best website on the planet, your one-stop sports betting shop, Sports Betting. Now, guys, before Dan and I bring out our special guests for today and give out free winners for today's action, we have some exciting stuff to tell you about. First of all, we had a nice night. First of all, before we even go any further, as I start every show, hi, honey. Hi, honey. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday to you all. I love the pigtails. Thank you. I wish I could go on here. I have pigtails. <laughs> Um, you look very fetching, Thank you look you. adorable. Thank um, you. we had a very nice meal last night. We took we my did. father and my nephew, went out to a great Mexican place on Decatur, it's like 10 minutes away from the house. Uh, Benito Machokin, mm -hmm. we ate like mules. I'll tell you what, we, we split a pitcher of margaritas. We came home, so guys, <laughs> in a few months, we may have some good news here, and nine months, we may have more good news. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. And then I am excited, you know, I like to work hard, you know. You, this business, like anything else in life and education, a relationship, you get out of it what you put, in, put into it. And, you know, a lot of people said I'm one of the hardest working guys in the business. And, uh, you know, yeah. I work my butt off and Dion does too. Um, but I have this afternoon off. I don't have to do a baseball show. I don't have anything to do this afternoon. So there is a good chance if we didn't make you baby last night. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be doing that one today. No, uh, actually, we got some stuff to do around the house today, um, but we're excited about it. We're, we're, we love our backyard. About we have what, making a baby or getting stuff a little bit of both. House? A little bit of both. <laughs> well, one has a bearing on the other. Uh, we have a great backyard. We got a huge pool. We got palm trees. We got a sitting area underneath the eaves. I have four professional grills out there now. I'm several gazebos. Uh, I have a prep table. I've got a refrigerator. I've got a kegerator. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. So when I'm drunk, uh, 8 a.m. Starting you can blame another, me. Starting another month <laughs> from now, when the weather gets better and I'm drunk at 8 a.m., blame her. Uh, no, we've got several sitting areas. We have lounge areas. We have umbrellas. We have three or four fire pits back there. So we are going to be working on some of that today, just getting it cleaned up and organized because we had some winds and rain the last few weeks here in yeah. town. But it's going to be one of those days where I get to do a lot of stuff with my lovely wife. And that's how I like to spend my days. That oh, and giving too. you guys winners. Oh, I love you. <laughs> I love her. Uh, Dion has some exciting things to tell you about, Me guys. Too. Yeah, so baseball is here and Sports Memo wants to show their appreciation as Joey and I have 50% off discounts on the entire MLB season package. That's right. You will receive the NBA MLB season winners for Joey or myself for 50% off. It comes down to, I believe, like $450, 450 for the season. 450 give or take, yeah. And all you have to do is use code HOMERUN50 upon checkout. Sports friends, whether you bet 10 bucks on parlay cards, 50 bucks a game, a nickel a game, or five dimes a game, this is something that will give you immediate, intermediate, and long-term returns for an investment. I want you to know the baseball season, as you know, is a very long very season. Long. And, you know, it, it's not easy. When you're sick, you go to a doctor. When your car breaks down, you go to a mechanic. I'm going to take your, tell you right now, I know nothing about cars. I don't go to fix my carburetor, and I certainly try to take out my own appendix. Um, <laughs> I personally don't know a lot about stocks, so I have a great stock broker that advises me. Same thing here, guys. You don't have the time, the energy, the resources, or the background, or the savvy to do what we dedicate all day long to. Um, so come to us. All right, use this 50% discount. Spend the entire baseball season with Dan or myself or both of us, guys. I promise you this. You will have an immediate return on your investment. You will have an intermediate return, and you will have a long-term return because this is truly a marathon, not a sprint this season, and it's a lot to keep up with. Yes. So follow Dan, follow myself, and thank you to Sports Memo for all the great stuff you do. Wait, special shout-out. Chris, James. Jason, Mel, Missy, Johnny D. Lexi. We love Lexi. Lexi, hi, Lexi. We <laughs> love you guys so much. It's because of you that we get to shine. And, and guys, they're the best. And our leader, people. Johnny Detroit. Johnny Detroit. I love Johnny. Don't tell him this again, but I would do this for nothing. He might not pay me anymore. <laughs> But I would do this for nothing because I get to work with Dion. I get to work with our special guests. And I get to work with the best staff in the world. So thank you, Sports Memo staff. You are the best, and we love you. Also, I want to say we had on the baseball show yesterday uh, somebody who you might not be familiar with just yet, but you will be. Mark my words. Eric Pauly came on the baseball show. He kicked butt. I believe he went 4-0 and with his base I believe he did. yesterday. He does some columns. He does some things here and there. He does some podcasts. But he's going to be doing more and more stuff, I'm going to tell you now. And I'm going to get his butt on the baseball show. And I'm going to do whatever I can to get him on the first family show. He knows his stuff. Welcome, Eric. And we are so proud of you. 
great things are going to happen for you. Now, Dion, without yes. any further ado, tomorrow we close out the week. we got Ross Benjamin. We do. Uh, we have Pablos Lagoletos and maybe a surprise guest for you. But for today, I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. We have you. Yes. We have me. And we have the Greek god of soccer. Let's bring him on, Pavlos Lagoletos. Hi, Pavlos. How are you? Good morning. Good morning, guys. I'm doing great. I'm coming off a first trip I've had in uh, about a month or so. I couldn't be happier. Uh, these were all easy wins. Uh, congratulations to everyone who followed me. I I, I had some doubts, uh, you know, on Twitter or whatever. But I told them, guys, it's just a bad stretch. It's going to fix itself. I promise you, if I don't finish... Uh, April with plus 50 units of profit, I'm going to give everything for free and it's going great. I'm now on a 7-1 and one run in soccer. Uh, I have a couple of plays up already uh, loaded at Sports Memo. Uh, actually, three plays. One is for tonight uh, in the Conference League and two plays up for Friday. And I'm, uh, after this show, I'm going to research uh, you know, a little more the weekend matches, so, so stay tuned. I also am going to... I have a, a nice tweet. I'm gonna I'm gonna load it right now. It's a system play where you can play tonight's uh, you know soccer matches. Uh, just throw some bucks on it. Maybe you get rich by the end of the day, and maybe you'll thank me. So stay tuned. Sports fans, I want you to know I've been doing this 43 years since I'm 10 years old with football sheets in the schoolyard. That is true. I own a grammar school, New Rochelle, great school. I started booking with football sheets in the schoolyard. About during my teen years, I worked for the biggest bookmaking operation. In the five boroughs, guys, I came out to Vegas. I started betting games. I became known as one of the biggest and smartest bettors in town. Uh, and the last 20 years, I'm documented. And I have more number ones than any two guys in this business combined. So I will tell you this. I have never seen in my 43 years in this business someone as good in any sport as Pavlos is in soccer. And he's getting hot right now. So this is the ideal time for you to follow Pavlos. Like I said, the customer appreciation at Sports Memo mm -hmm. is unrivaled. Go over to Sports Memo after the show. Go get, whether it's a three-day, a seven-day, a 30-day, follow Pavlos in soccer. Now, I also know, Pavlos, you're dabbling in some other sports right now at the moment. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Uh, I'm giving out some uh, NBA plays. Uh, I'm trying to figure out uh, hockey. I mean, uh, if anything, it, it, they're just uh, free plays. Uh, they're they're going to be free plays for now. I'm not going to charge for them. But uh, yeah, NBA has been my thing, especially player props, uh, you know, and uh, maybe some total sides. I don't do so, so well. I, I tell you that. I, I I admit that, but my expertise is in prop bets. I, I dive deep, deep on those numbers. Uh, I look at matchups. I look at history. So, yeah, I'm going to have a lot of player props uh, for this coming uh, playoffs. So, super sports excited. Memo, about that's that. what I love about Sports Memo. There is a capper tailor made just for you. If you like in game play, if you like first five innings in baseball, you want this, you want player props, you want baseball, you want football, you want college, you want pro. No matter what it is, they have somebody just for you. And trust me, they have a lot of different personalities on this they website. Do. It's unrivaled. To, and no other website on the planet can do or can offer what Sports Memo does. Sports Memo does. So go over to Sports Memo. And if you don't want me or Dean or even Pablos, you will find somebody that is tailor-made just for you. And I promise you, you'll thank me tomorrow. So now with any further ado, we're going to bring Pablos backstage. He's going to be our second in the rotation today. Pablos, you'll be back in a minute for us? Yes, yes, of course. You got it. So let's go into the first lady of Las Vegas who's got some exciting things she'd like to tell you about, about tonight's card. And then she has a free play winner for you. I do. I am as excited today as I was on opening day. You know what? Even more so. I am so excited about today. <laughs> I have my strongest baseball play so far this season in my MLB silver play. My silver plays going back to last baseball are over 70%. You can get it right now over at Sports Memo for just $7. You know, I don't think it's funny that I've been doing this professionally for what, like 19 seasons. Uh -huh. And you're, you have plays that are hitting 70%. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's right. Oh, sorry. I think, well, we're going to have to work out some sort of a trade <laughs> later. And to make me feel better. Anyway, guys, listen, the first lady of Las Vegas, her silver plate today, 70% going back to last baseball season. That's document, mind you, just $7. And also, I know how good she is in baseball. I know a lot of you out there that followed her last year know it too. Take advantage of that season discount right after the show. Yeah, and you have a free play for everyone, I right? do. So for today's free – uh, for today's free play, let's go to the Bronx where the Blue Jays and Yankees play game four of the series. Guys, I don't release a lot of totals in any sport, but it seems that when I do, they make us all money. And that's why I am excited to report that I have my first MLB total of the season today in the Toronto-New York matchup. 
we have two lineups that are considered to be two of the most dangerous in all of baseball. Currently, Toronto ranks eighth offensively, scoring nearly five runs per game, while New York offense hasn't been producing what we expected. The first two games in the series were clear, dead unders. But yesterday's game three flew over the total as both lineups exploded for a combined 10 runs on six home runs. Today's starters, Guzman and Severino, well, neither had a very good first outing this season. And both over their careers own ERAs of just under four against today's opponents. But I think after yesterday's explosion, we're going to see a lot of runs once again today particularly against these two starters. Just a little feeling here with this total as low. I like the over here. First Lady Las Vegas is over in the Toronto, New York just matchup. Gut feeling. Just a gut feeling. And guys, I got to tell you, her gut feelings are getting you paid right now. Go follow her. Uh, follow this game. And then right after the show, honestly, go get that silver play. So from one leaderboard fixture to another, guys, I'm very excited about our next guest. Uh, he is the Greek god of soccer. He swept the board last night. He's got some exciting things he'd like to tell you about right now, and he's got another free play winner for you today. Take it away, Pavlos. Oh, hold on a moment. Pavlos? Oh, Pavlos, yes, I'm muted. I, I right. was muted. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry about that. Dog, See that. Dogs were barking, you know? The dogs were barking. Not a problem. That happens. We go through the same thing. But it gives this show a lot of its charm. If you can take it from the top, I'd appreciate it. Okay, okay, yes. So, um, yeah, I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to analyze the Real Sociedad versus Betis match. Uh, it's a La Liga match happening tomorrow, Friday. And I'm going to take Betis plus half a goal here. Uh, Betis, they've been playing really, really good soccer all season, but uh, they've recently dipped uh, lately in form. Uh, and that's the, the, there's a very good reason for that, because they were playing in the uh, uh, Spanish Cup, the uh, Europa League, and the um, La Liga. So, that that. They had to play a lot of matches. Uh, I think they played uh, every three days for uh, the past couple of months. So, you know, that's definitely going to take a toll at some point. And we saw that uh, that dip in their form. Uh, however, uh, they do have the uh, Spanish Cup final. Their number one priority. But uh, as far as the La Liga goes, they're now sitting at the fifth spot with uh, 56 points. And the Real Sociedad are sitting two points below them. So um, there, there is a big fight about who finishes uh, fifth, who finishes sixth, who breaks into the top four spots. Uh, because, you know, um, the top four spots lead to the Champions League next season. Uh, the fifth spot leads to the Europa League. And the sixth spot leads to the Europa Conference League. So there is a huge, um, uh, you know, a, a lot of money um, that you get back from TV rights when you, you when you play in these competitions, so you know that these teams are always fighting to break inside the top four, top five, or top six spots. Now, Real Sociedad, uh, after they've been eliminated from the, this year's Europa League, they've been uh, quite good actually with five wins, one loss, and one draw in the last seven matches, uh, and they really want to uh, you know beat Betis in this one and leapfrog them in the standings from sixth to fifth. Uh, dogs are, st are still barking, by the way. Sorry about that. That's okay. Uh, as for Betis, you know, Betis, they're going to play for a draw here uh, or even a win. A draw is, is actually pretty nice for them because they'll keep Real Sociedad at bay. They'll keep them below, below them in the standings. And then uh, they have an easy match prior to their uh, Copa final, uh, their cup final. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pick Betis plus half a goal here. There you go. Sports fans. He is the Greek god of soccer, Pablo Flagoneto, so take Betis. And this game is so exciting. It's so much of a winner. The dogs in his house are going crazy. They're excited over it. I love it. <laughs> to me, that's a good sign. I'm superstitious. I don't know about any of you out there that like to bet games that have a little bit of superstition. I'm not that about that breaking a mirror or stepping on a crack or a ladder. But I have some other superstitions. I we find have a lot of I have a lot of superstitions <laughs> I want you to know, guys. We'll tell you about that in future shows. But... The Greek god of soccer says, take Betis. And guys, go after the show. Follow Pavlos. He is a winner. The best I've ever seen. Pavlos, you'll stay till the end of the show, please? Yes, yes, of course. All right, we're going to bring Pavlos right back, guys. Now it's time to adjust the volume on your, on, your, <laughs> on your pods. You're, you're making me laugh again. Your tablets, your computers, and your phones. Because today, Joe D is very excited. A 5% play alert. Beep, beep, beep. Sports <laughs> fans, the best big game hunter on the planet has a huge payday for you today. A season ago, my MLB Divisional Games of the Month 
They went a whopping 17 and 2. Well, get ready because my first baseball game of the month release goes off today. My NL Central game of the month. This game is so highly rated that I'm also releasing my first 5% MLB play this season. My 5 and 10% plays are on a 37 and 14 run overall. My friends, if you only bet one game today, then you must. Beyond this big game of the month winner. Now, I want you to know a game of this caliber, I would normally post it for a, at least $49. But I want everyone, 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 everyone to get a big winner today. So I posted it for just $7 right now at Sports Memo. Go over there, get it. Trust me, after this game wins tonight, you'll name your next board Joe D'Amico. I promise <laughs> you that. There'll be a lot of Joe D'Amico's running around this world. God help us. Now, guys, my free winner today. Um, let me start. I haven't dropped too many free games lately, but I did drop one yesterday on this show, on the afternoon show. I think I went three and one. That's cool. No worries, because I bounced back today with a big free winner on the diamond and the Phillies Mariners. Oh, excuse me, Phillies. Let me tell you, Phillies Marlins matchup. Stop. <laughs> Phillies Marlins matchup. As everyone expected, my friends, very quickly, uh, the Phillies own a second place spot. Three and three is apparently good enough to own a second place spot this early in the season in the NL East. As everyone expected, uh, the Marlins, they're dwelling in the cellar already. One and four on both sides of the field. Philly, right now they're ranking about the middle of the pack in both leagues. While offensively, Miami just about at the bottom of both leagues. 27th in scoring. They're producing an anemic 2.8 runs per game. Obviously, being in the same division, these two teams know each other very well. And they do play each other. Very tough. Over the last 10 meetings, they each took five games. They split that out. But what interests me here in this specific matchup are the pitchers. Kyle Gibson had a very good first outing. He earned a victory last week at home against Oakland, going seven strong innings, fanning 10 batters. 10, 10, 10. He's on, guys. Sandy Alcantara, he also looked pretty good. He went five innings, four Ks, but not factoring the decision as a team lost the game in San Francisco. Looking a little more closely at these pitchers, Alcantara, who is Five and four with a 3.13 and 10 career starts against the Phillies. Went just one and three a season ago in four starts against them. Moreover, he is horrible at home. I had a double and triples check this stat, guys. 38 career starts at home, eight and 17. Gibson's numbers against the Marlins are a little skewed. He only had one career appearance. Didn't do too well. They yanked him quick, guys. So it's hard to judge him off that. But right now, judging from how he looked last week, I really like him in this matchup. I know that the Philadelphia bullpen was one of the worst two seasons ago. And last year, I believe they had 34 blown save, saves. But let's face it, the Miami Marlins aren't too threatening at the plate, guys. And I do, once again, like Kyle Gibson starting this game. The Phillies are 4-1 the last five during game one of a series, while the Marlins 2-8 the last 10 versus right-handed starters. I can't believe Miami's a slight favorite here. So let's take advantage of that. Take the dog. Take the Phillies. It is a winner today. I promise you that. I like this game a lot. Bet it myself. I want you to know, guys, while we bring Pablo's back, I don't just tell people, hey, do this. I walk it like I talk it. I bet every game I put out. And I do bet my bigger games a lot more. Yes. A lot higher. I'll be honest. I'm known as probably the biggest daily sports better in Vegas. I haven't gotten that moniker by accident. I'm a healthy better, and I'm right in the trenches with you. Every game I put out, I'm on. Winning days, I'm twice as happy because you're winning and you're coming back tomorrow, and I'm winning my bets, and she loves me because I give her a piece of everything I win. And on losing days, I'm twice as pissed off, and I do have losing days, but I want you to know I am the best big game hunter on the planet. Follow me today, and you will follow me to the bank. Let's go a uh, couple of announcements before we sign off. Uh, Dion. Yes. Baseball is here. And Sports Memo wants to show their appreciation for Joey and I. We have a 50% off discount on the MLB season package for either Joey or myself. 50% off. You will receive every game that we release all season long. All you have to do is use code home run 50 upon check out. it is an amazing deal it comes down to less than i believe like 450 dollars for the whole season there's no place else that you can go to get this amazing deal all right i love that deal take advantage of it you'll be making money right away and you'll be a big winner by the end of the season sports fans tomorrow to close out the week we have ross benjamin uh pavos might be stopping by again we'll see if we get if we could talk him into stopping by again. He's so darn good looking. I love when he comes by. And maybe a surprise guest or two. And, guys, we'd love it if you went to the Sports Memo YouTube channel. Subscribe. It takes two seconds. We do 
Uh, I do two shows every day, every weekday, Monday to Friday. I do this first family show with Dion. We have great guests on it. We're doing a baseball show five days a week, the full count show. Great guests. I am not on today. John Ryan will be hosting. I love John Ryan, but I will be back there tomorrow. I believe we have Jesse and you on tomorrow, we'll tomorrow be afternoon. The two of us along with Jesse. Tune into that. That goes live, by the way, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 3 p.m. Eastern. Also, John Ryan does tons of great content. He really is. He's amazing. So go go uh, subscribe to the Sports Memo YouTube channel. Also follow Sports Memo on Twitter. The best collection of cappers anywhere on the planet are at Sports Memo. And each one of us, we post a lot of free stuff. You get futures. You get articles. You name it. Follow it. Also follow Pavlos on Twitter at Paulie underscore WT. Dion, what's your Twitter? I am the First Lady of Vegas. And I am at Joe D'Amico Wins. And if you hit one of us up, we will get back to you, whether it takes two minutes or two hours. We will get back to you. We love hearing from you. Uh, today's free plays. Dion, what did you have today? I am going with Toronto, New York, over the eight and a half. Pavlos? I have uh, Betis plus half a goal against uh, Real Sociedad on Friday. And I have the Philadelphia Phillies, small dog today. I like them. I really do. I like that play. It almost made it as a premium play. Dion, can you take us out of here, please? I can. So make sure you tune in tomorrow for our special guest and a free and a ton of free winners on behalf of Sports Memo, Pavlos, and us. This is the first family of Vegas. Everyone out there, good luck and have a winning day.